back again I'm soldiering on I I had some card and stuff out and my brain was out and I just thought ah. love fall art hashtag event let's do it so Oh, my brain's out, might, well, you, might as well use it while well, it's out and the big and juices are out so I'll use them while they're out and I can use another stomping up set what I'm doing now is just using some masking tape you can use any sort of um, masking tape like this or washi tape anything that's going to come back up off your paper and you're just basically covering the edges so it leaves you a little border which most often than not looks really nice so I'm just this is um, Clarity stamp card which is especially made for braiding really um, I love Clarity products, absolutely adore them um, as you know already from when I've done stencils and stuff so Barbara Gray just she's the dog's bollocks as they say it's a bit rude isn't it so anyway um, same technique as before I'm going to look at which colours I want because it's a fall one I'm going to go I think I'm going to go where the brown is as well and uh, so like I told you before you're just flicking along the brayer to pick some of that lovely colour up put a little bit of card down so that you can set off on it seems a bit daft putting all that ink on I know um, I used to think so but then I sort of started getting it and you just sort of working your way in getting all that lovely autumn colour on and you just have to keep working it I'm not really happy with those colours so I think I really needed to go a bit more orange so I'm just going to pick some more orangey up and I'm going to go in from the other side oh yeah difference but uh, yeah it's getting a bit orangey though I'm liking that good off paper it's my project I'm having to stand up to do this because it really is a killer on the old arms oh, I'm kind of liking that I really want some more of that yellow one I'm just going to see if I can just roll along the yellow I'm wondering if these have been stored wrong and they've run into each other little bit of a trick to get it clean I don't know if you can actually see from this but the, the paper that I'm using is really kind of shiny so the finish on that card now looks fab if it weren't for that little spot there 
I'm just going to go back in and see if I can. I should have done it on my uh, mat really, but I couldn't be bothered getting it out. and clean can't see the point in mocking around with anything else and this is a you can see from on here if you just it can be water activated so you could put some splashes on if you wanted to I'm a bit ooh, don't think I want to right now uh, I'm not going. Right, stamp duty. Now I'm still going to just use the big and juicer on all of this and see if it works how I want it to work. Well, most of it, I think I'm going to have to get some other colours out, but um, to start off with the tree what I'm going to do on it. this stamping up set is the sprinkles of life so it can be cupcake it's a right weird set but it is good um, turn it right way, right around. Um, as you can see you could use it for ice cream sprinkles trees leaves whatever you like so as normal, I'm gonna whip this tree. Whip this tree. I'm just going to. That's come out pretty good. So I'm just gonna. Stamp some off the card. For that one, I'm just wanting some of this colour up here as well. Yeah, I do like some of this. Have you noticed? <laughs> Got some up here as well. I'm trying to get a bit of a sad forest going on there. Looking at that. And I'm just going to grab the leaves that lie on. the big inducer
this one. This is the spice. And let's do that. You might think, oh, she's not clean that, but uh, it doesn't really matter because the, all the colour would come off. So, I think we'll go with those colours first. I'm going to stamp off the grid again. Let's clean it by doing that. Oh, it gives some really good second impressions, I have to say. So we'll try that. And we'll This is just a really quick and easy card but sometimes quick and easy is really good not everything has to be a hassle but I do think I have to put the little bird on there because I've seen it. it has to be done did you have I'm going to put a little apple on now I have to I'm sorry Oh, I've got my little. Oh, we've got that as well. No, that's too much. Stop it now, Jen. Um, they do have the cutest little doodads. Oh. I'll put a little birdie in the tree. How cute is that? I'll put a little birdie in the tree there. a little apple <laughs> a little apple that can go in that corner I'll just put a little apple hanging off the tree I think this little apple might have been a bit too big so we'll just put some on the floor as though they've fallen half oh, presses It's nice just to have a little play sometimes, isn't it? Just an easy little thing to do instead of making it hard for yourself all the time, which is what I tend to do, I'm afraid. So I'm just going to pick a sentiment. top of another one good thing oh hope your day stacks up to would be one good thing or another that doesn't really go money can't buy happiness but it can buy cupcakes that's really not it either thanks a bunch nope that's not going spread the love I'm so lucky to call you my friend. Oh, I'm not sure I've got a little bit of card left. Where does this little bit of card go to? <laughs> oh, it's got little bits of card missing. I'm on walk about. I did have a little bit of card left and I wanted to just I'm gonna s Oh I know what I think I'll do. It's verse mark time ladies, verse mark time. Chanted gold embossing powder. Now I'm gonna have to take this up now because 
We know the dealio with the Peel it back and you're left with a nice little border. And if you stick it to your work surface, you can use it again. Which I know is probably going to extremes, but I have to try and save my poor husband some money somewhere. I'm really liking that. need to get a bit of paper to sprinkle on <laughs> this paper bag will do I'll try and hide the adverts on it <laughs> Ooh, what you have to think of when you're doing YouTube ah, so I'm just gonna oops, ink that bad boy up Press it down and hope that it's worked. But on that, oh, do you know? If I had a brain, I would be dangerous. I think I've just done it upside down. Yeah, I have. Ha <laughs> ha! Just gonna have to wipe that off now. I know that it just comes off. Yeah, it has done because. I'm lucky because it's shiny. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. oh, do you know, will I ever do one where I, you know, I don't muck up. Gun on that. Not that it doesn't look rubbish. So it doesn't look up. What a shame because it looks so nice. Oh no, it looks alright. Sure. Now I've got to put it on a little card. I bet you, yeah. thanks for telling it, I can't find a card that I got in to do it. Because that's just how it's rolling for me today. Let's see what else I can lose. I've already lost my brain. <laughs> can't get any much, much worse than that, can it? Oh, come on. Do you know when you just get to that stage where you think, Please, just something, just go right for me. Um, I'm pretty much there. I have got all these nice backgrounds now that I can play with, which is extra good. It'll look quite nice, won't it, on the blue as well. No, stop 
it. Be mocking. Um, sorry about this, folks. I did have a card to put it on. Zoom out a bit because it's see if I can let me see it any better. Well, that's it's going to go on the naked zero. I've splodged it. That's ah, coming up with the wonder of the wet light. What else I've got round here that I'll just cut it up as well? I'm thinking that looks a bit sad or that it's lonesome there so by the power of Grayskull or forethought or whatever I'm going to just reuse this that I just stuck down on my unit because I must have just had a vision. <laughs> you know, well, it's a good job I found myself funner. to get the burr minimum on the edge there and obviously I'm going to need a bit more just on that corner like it's here I'm just going to bray this as well. Why not? Let's go for it. Can only turn out rubbish, can it? What says you? I'm going to bray it again. I'm going to go for the greens and warding it up. At least you can see me using brayer a few times. It probably won't go on as smooth here because it's not really the type of card so I'm just going to roll the edges off like that roll it down and start rolling 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 Look at that! It's like a starburst. Oh, I'm liking that. Wasn't intentional, I can tell you. Oops. And 
bit of kitchen roll sprayed off again. glue that down a bit. Fortunately it's not going to anybody so there's only me and they know so don't so don't tell them going on there. What do you think? I'm quite liking that so I'm going to just going to blot it a bit because I think it's still a bit what? That's the trouble with the shiny card. I'll just give it a blast. And I'm going to use my. 3D glue and just give it a bit of dimension. Dimension. And just sort of eyeball that. No, I just think it needs a couple of leaves. I'm thinking they might need to go down up here actually or down at the bottom and maybe down at the bottom because there's a lot going up on up there as it is so skizzles
unhappy with that. Needs to dry, obviously. I'll just turn it around. It's a shame you can't see that, but it, it does say, uh, when you can see it up close, I'm so lucky to call you my friend. So, that can be day number two, an autumn card. Hope you've liked it. I know it was quick and simple, but sometimes we like quick and simple. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> Okay then, and I'll see you next time. Bye, take care.